Fun Facts presents the 1952 Packard Special Speedster. It is a 50s classic car and it was introduced back in 1952. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. And let's get started now. The 1952 Packard Special Speedster. In 1952, Packard's director of styling, Edward McCauley, and chief engineer, Bill Graves, were searching for Packard's new design direction, and they came up with this special Speedster. Built on a 1951 Packard 200 Deluxe Sedan platform, they reduced the cockpit area and lengthened the rear deck to make a dramatic speedster. To enhance the theme, they added huge sill plates which ran the length of the car. The Mitch Mitchell Bentley Corporation fabricated the body from fiberglass, which was designed by Dick Teague. It was also the first Packard to use a wraparound front windshield, which would reach production by 1955. Numerous design details are unique to the special Speedster, and many of the elements, such as the hood and wheel wells, which were used on the later Packard Caribbean. It was also the first Packard to use a wraparound front windshield. Macaulay retained the car for his personal collection and that's why it is often called the Macaulay Speedster. To further the car's performance pedigree, the McAuliffe Supercharger was fitted to the 359 cubic inch Packard inline 8. Over the years, the Macaulay's Speedster was fitted with many Chrysler pieces and eventually discovered it has since been refitted with the original engine and supercharger. The restyling of the 1951 Packard was managed by John Reinhardt, who became the styling chief in 1947. It was a well-received and well-executed car, but much of Packard's pre-war mystique had already been lost. Buyers were seeking V8s, not straight eights, and options such as automatic transmissions, power steering and brakes, and hard top designs were becoming commonplace. To revitalize Packard's image, Edward McCauley and the chief engineer Bill Graves conspired on series of concept cars. This car known alternatively or alternately as the Packard Panther Phantom II or McCauley Special Speedster was the first. It was based on a 1951 Packard 200 Deluxe sedan. The major modifications were the shortening of the roof and the lengthening of the rear deck. This one-off vehicle is powered by a supercharged straight eight and has early rear window wiper and sports dual exhaust. Originally conceived for a sportsman, the additional space could carry hunting gear or serve as lodging. <laughs> Sleep right in that rear trunk. That, that, that makes sense. Okay. But here, the contents of the additional area include a fridge, a bar, an air conditioning unit. Oh, that's funny. The president of Packard, Edward McCauley, had several Packards built for his personal use starting in 1933 with his Brown Bomber. Even after his retirement as president, the 25th Series Special Speedster was built for him in 1952 on a modified 200 Deluxe Club sedan. It had an eight-cylinder engine on a chassis with a 122-inch wheelbase, and it encompassed several custom features that would be repeated on the Packard Pan American and later the Packard Caribbean. The 359 cubic inch Packard inline eight 
is enhanced with the addition of the McAuliffe Supercharger. Other features on this car are special side chrome trim, dual exhaust, and rear windshield wipers. It was the first Packard to use a wraparound windshield. Famed singer and auto enthusiast James Melton owned one of these cars in the mid-1950s and installed a Chrysler engine, transmission, dashboard, and taillights. The car was repainted and it was deep blue around the same time. So the, 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 let's see here, three years were spent restoring this beautiful car. Okay, let's keep reading here. The original supercharged engine was located and returned to its rightful place under the hood. All right. So we'll show you some. The 1952 Packard Special Speedster 25 are the 25th series, the model 2501 modified 200 deluxe club sedan, model 250, 2565, eight cylinder, 327 cubic inches, 122 inch wheelbase, two person, Phantom 2, built in Packard shops for Edward McCauley. Exterior on this particular uh, car was black, including part of a radiator grill. Interior was custom dash, black and white upholstery. Note that the 53 grill guard ensemble. 1951 Packard lettering on otherwise standard 1952 grill. The 1952 crest above the grill, decorative hood air scoop. The 1953 headlamp rims, the mark, the Marshall lamps, special bright metal trim above the lamps, and continuing back along top of the fenders, special wheel discs bearings, 1951 uh, Patrician Closen centers, special chrome plate brass trim along the bottom of the 53 rear bumpers special dual exhaust port holes below tail lights okay well if you found yourself this far into the video we'd certainly like to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch our video if you like our video please give us a thumbs up because it really does help our channel and if you like our channel please subscribe because we'll be doing all of the cars in the 1950s the 1960s we'll be doing all of the muscle cars the hybrid cars the sports cars We'll be doing car shows, autoramas, hot rods, custom cars, a little bit of everything for everybody. So again, we'd like to say thank you for taking the time out of your day. And always, always, always take good care. And we hope to see you when we upload our next video. Thank you.